What's happening YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ollie. I have no idea what I'm doing and today I fancy doing a bit of an experiment. If like me you live in the wonderful land of Great Britain then you know depending on where you are in the country house prices are gonna differ. As I've already mentioned before I am currently buying a house and I know the difficulties and everything that comes along with it and as a lot of you will probably know it is more expensive the further south you go and cheaper the further north you go. Well that tends to be the rule of thumb so I wanted to try something out bear with me. I wanted to try and find the sort of average looking house you can find for around the 250,000 mark because that seems to be around the average price range people my age would go for and I wanted to try and build those houses for North, Midlands and South of England in The Sims 4. I haven't played The Sims 4 in a long time, I can't even remember how to build properly. So I'm just going to give this a go and see where I end up. If you enjoyed this video guys, make sure you hit that like button and hit that subscribe button as well. It would mean an awful lot to me if you did. Make sure you follow me on Twitter and Instagram as well for the most up-to-date information of what's coming out on the channel. Also guys, do go and follow me on Twitch. I don't just post VODs on YouTube either, I try and keep the content between YouTube and Twitch separate, so I've got original content on Twitch. So go and follow me on there and you'll be notified when I next go live. Without further ado, let's jump into some builds in The Sims 4. So let's do a little bit of research here. Let's start with the north of England, I reckon. So work our way down. I mean, yeah, that's what I was going for. So I, I was saying about 250,000 or average house price in the UK. So let's go north England house 250,000. Zoopla, let's have a look on Zoopla. Okay, okay we've got a bungalow. Okay, now this is very nice. Detached. Yeah, it's a decent sized kitchen. Very nice uh, size uh, living area there. So that is quite nice. They've got enough space for everything. Got semi-detached. Everything seems around the same size. We've even got a four bed here. That is pretty damn nice. I mean, look at the size of that. For 250,000, that's brilliant. Okay, I think this would be a good place to start for the north of England. Okay, and here is my completely randomized sim that I just made, just so I could get straight to the building. Okay, so I've got the floor plan of that house out in front of me, so I'm gonna give this a go. Obviously, I don't want it to be too big, so I'm gonna try and use him as a reference. But it looks like we've pretty much got... Oh, shit, what have we done here? Okay, I'm trying to get the units of measurement right here as well. So, you've got one of these squares is apparently about three feet. Three feet is 0.9 meters. The length of the garage, which I'm starting with, is 5.28 meters. So, let's have a look. Okay, so 5.86. So, let's just say six of these squares four five six that's the length of the garage i'm gonna round up all of these numbers so let's just go with that this floor plan is incredibly difficult to follow but i'm getting there slowly okay i've pretty much got the first floor done there let's head up they could have used that space so wisely so they've basically done that with the two bedrooms then this one has a little wardrobe there and that one has a little wardrobe there yeah okay so hard when you follow in a floor plan that's going to be the tiniest bathroom i've ever made i think <laughs> this is supposed to be big what's going on okay let's grab us some ceiling lamps so we can at least get some light in these rooms i don't think they do garage doors yeah i don't think they do garage doors doors nope they do not so i'm gonna have to improvise i'll put a massive elevator door on the front of the garage and maybe i'll just have to go for a massive archway into the garage imagine there's a shutter door there yeah that's quite nice for a front door kind of similar ish right the next one is the kitchen so let's see what i can find that's kind of similar i have no idea where people have put these people have put their fridge so i'm going to assume it's there i am really not that good at building stuff in the sims that's my problem what i'm after now is like a white back door that'll do side door side passage so they say these guys have a lovely dining table right in the middle of the room so let's chuck that in there as well guys you could quite easily go and find a sims channel on youtube and see them create an absolutely stunningly beautiful build of a northern home. But I've got three houses to build in one video. I am not going to be taking my time. And I'm after a sort of sideboard thing that they've got going on here. Yeah, okay. That's the kind of thing they've got going. And then just white I'm after as well. That's pretty much what I'm after. I've got an accent wall going on. Living room, what have you got for me? Realise there's no fucking door going into the living room. Then I need some double doors going into the dining room. I have no idea if that's the correct doors, because it doesn't show them in the picture. That's the kind of sofa we 
got going on there. Some nice big patio doors. I don't know whether they'd be better actually. They'd be much better. They have like a chair here. What's it intersecting with? It's not intersecting with anything. I'll just put it there. Nice big rug in the middle. Okay, now they have a sort of light brown. Yeah, yeah, that's about right. Ha ha. Knew this would come. Don't have time to be skint. Yeah, that kind of goes like that. I mean, it's at a bit of an angle in the picture, but I can't do that. They also have no accent wall in this. It's all pretty much the same. They also have a beautiful looking piece of artwork uh, on the side. There yeah. They also, for some reason, have a mirror behind them. Yeah, that, that kind of works. I also need to try and build some stairs. But the staircase became a real problem. Because I'm trying to do this as close to the real measurements as I can, the staircase wouldn't really fit. In the image I have here, you see that the stairs come round and then they kind of do a, a corner thing. And I know you can do that in The Sims 4, but I just tried doing it and it just wouldn't fit. <laughs> because in The Sims 4, everything is massive. That is the problem. Like you wouldn't be able to afford a real Sims 4 house. So I've had to cut out part of the floor of one of the bedrooms. Like that wall should really cut off like here to fit the image, but I've had to cut out another square just so the staircase will fit in. This is causing real issues. Anyway, we're going bedrooms. So let's chuck some beds in. Bathroom isn't going to work. Actually, it might. I fucked up with the bathroom. And this really is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. This is going to take me quite a bit of time. Uh, I need a toilet and a sink for the bathroom. I'm sacrificing the cupboard. Okay, it was kind of like that. This bedroom, what they got going on for the wall, it's kind of like that. It's pretty fucking ugly in all honesty. Eesh. I need bigger windows. That's about right, I think. I'm trying to make these windows fucking look good as well, which is going to be a ball ache. The kids' bedroom is like this horrible, disgusting pastel green colour. So let's just go with the same thing. Hey ho, it's what the kids want. Wait, they do have an office. Yeah, yeah, one of, the, one of the rooms is an office, but I can't tell which room. So, okay, well, I'm gonna have to change things up a bit. I forgot you can press shift when you're doing the walls and it'll do the entire room for you. God, I'm an idiot. Okay, so we've got what looks like a decent desk there. Just realized there's no doors going into pretty much any of these rooms. Okay, that's pretty much the upstairs done. Downstairs, pretty much done. It's like that. And like that. Hey, okay. That's pretty much it. Put a couple of extra windows in. Now what I need is brickwork. Okay, I think the northern house is finally finished. All right, so this is the front external of my northern house, and that is the front external of the real one. Splitting image, I think. Absolute splitting image of each other. This is what the kitchen looks like. As you can see, I've got the sort of wooden countertops uh, oven there. You know, your, your general looking kitchen with the door here, of course. And that is the kitchen in the house. And I think it's a splitting image. I mean, I'm not going to bother with toasters or little vases or anything. And fuck the paintings, you know, but I forgot about the red floor, didn't I? There you go. That kind of works. Here's the dining room. You've got that sort of accent wall going on there. And there's the actual one. Again, spitting image. I'm getting good at this. Living room with the sofa and the patio doors. TV just on the side there. I feel like that's the sort of thing that these guys have gone for in that living room as well. Again, split an image. I think I've done a very good job of that. Bedrooms, as you can see, that just looks luxurious. I mean, kids' bedroom looks grey and, you know, is that a kids' playroom, bedroom? I don't know, but is that the same room? I have no idea. But they've made this look so luxurious. A garden I'm not bothering with. But yeah, they've made that look so luxurious. And here's mine, just luxurious. <laughs> I haven't even bothered doing the wallpaper in some of the rooms, but hey ho, what do you expect from a build that took me 45 minutes, fucking hell, that took me 45 minutes. I forgot how hard building is in The Sims. But there is a basic, a very basic build of your £250,000 house in the north. In case you're wondering, that's in Chesterfield. For the Midlands, I'm sticking around the Birmingham area because I feel like that's as central as you can get for the Midlands. But as I say, around the Midlands, buying a house is kind of all over the place. It depends what area you go for. You've got townhouses, things like that, that are terraced, things like that. So you've got some Coalfield, nice area. Then you've got things like King's Heath. I mean, that's semi-detached. That looks pretty big. But what I'm looking for is the sort of most average you can get in this area. I mean, this looks pretty average and unfurnished as well. That makes things so much easier to build. I 
can't build an unfurnished house in The Sims. That's just cheating. I mean, what the hell? That looks gorgeous for 250,000. Jesus, that place has had some work done on it. I mean, let's have a look on right move here. So you've got these areas of the Midlands. So if you want to go central, we should probably go like West Midlands. Then again, we want to go around the middle here. So let's have a look around Staffordshire. But again, in 2020, you're talking about 400 grand for a lot of these houses. Stafford doesn't seem too bad. So let's have a look at Stafford. Now, this is in Stafford. Looks pretty run of the mill for 250,000. I mean, that actually looks pretty damn nice. Got the floor plan as well. So let's give this one a go. My random sim must be getting so bored, just chilling, staring and pointing at his phone this entire time. Again, we're going basic build and oh, I don't have measurements on this floor plan. I'm going to have to kind of go what I think looks right. Okay, let's get some of these boundaries in place. Okay, I pretty much laid the foundations of downstairs and that's about where that ends i uh, see what they're doing here they have the corners cut off hey ah, that's very clever design that kind of goes there like that that's a tiny bedroom in fact no it doesn't i need to change this i don't know if this challenge has been done by sim tubers or people who play the sims on youtube but trying to actually go by measurements of real ha real houses as close as you can is actually really fucking difficult this is gonna go badly that's a about right. Okay, let's put some fucking doors in. So many doors all like closely compacted together. Now this one kind of had these massive arches like that, which I think is very sweet. No, they're not arches, are they? They're more like this. They're definitely more like that. Let's get some ceiling lamps back in here. Let's start with downstairs. Now, add some pretty nice brickwork all the way around. Oh, I need to do upstairs as well. Okay, front door, it was quite a simple white looking one like a pvc style one is that how you say it? pvc i have no idea i'm not a builder but i'm gonna go nice and simple pretty much like that again imagine that's a garage door and a nice window there i want to try and make this one look as good as i can i want to do a good job in this one that's the kind of thing i want up there yeah because that matches i mean it doesn't but let's just pretend that it does match the next picture is this massive fucking living room they've got going on here i mean I, I did not think you could get a house with such a big living room for 250000 in the Midlands. But they have an absolutely huge corner sofa. And I know I'm not going to find anything even remotely like that in The Sims. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do that. That works, kind of. <laughs> nice big posh dining table as well. God, why won't you fit? The last chair doesn't seem to fit for some odd reason. Is it because it's in the way of that archway? It's in the way of the archway, isn't it? Oh, well. Nice floorboards that are going on there as well. Nice big rug as well. Big TV goes on the wall in this house. Pretty w nice and white and simple in here as well. I need massive sort of open patio doors. Why won't that one fit? Table's in the way again. Oh, kind of looks like that, but now that won't fit. Let's pretend there's a dining table there. I ain't going to go extending the conservatory dining room area because that just wouldn't be fitting for a house in the Midlands. The dimensions would end up being off. This challenge is honestly incredibly difficult. I've been at this for a while now. I've been going for about an hour and a half and I'm only halfway through the second house. This is getting increasingly difficult as I go. I'm going to imagine they match. You know what? I've decided I do need to extend that room a tiny bit. I just decided that it needed to be done. Need a big rug underneath here as well. Need it in the middle there. There you go. Simple carpet in all of the other rooms. Oh shit, that was not supposed to be carpeted. Do not want the roof to be carpeted. Also, I don't think the bathroom should be carpeted either. And that is kind of what the master bedroom kind of looks like. Do need this nice bedside table next to it though. Nice little table lamp on there as well. The ensuite has one of those kind of showers in. It won't let me put the toilet in anywhere because it fucking blocks everything. I have a way I could fix this possibly. I just move the door over a little bit and I'll put that there. I feel like a toilet might be more important than a sink, so I'm going to go with a toilet. Kids' bedroom, so we're going for a nice uh, bed just there. Nice pink rug just there because it looks like a girl's room. Oh, I forgot all about the fucking stairs again. This is really not going to work. Okay, that's what I'm after. Intersecting with the walls. If I remove that wall, maybe I can get it to fit. Oh! <gasps> I think I've managed it. Now, where does that end up? 
I think that's ended up in the right place. Cuts off part of the bathroom though. That's supposed to be the bathroom. Not to worry, a few minor adjustments. I'm gonna have to sacrifice the diagonal wall. But I'm actually proud of myself for getting them stairs working. I'm actually very proud of myself for getting them stairs working. I couldn't do it in the last house. I also completely forgot about the tiles in the kitchen. Yeah, that's about right. The hallway doesn't give me a picture, so I'm just gonna flag it. This bedroom, nice and white. This bathroom, I might have a little bit more space to work with now. Yeah, that kind of works. Nice mirror above the sink. Also just realized there's no light in the hallway. Last bedroom, it doesn't show me a picture of, so I'm just gonna stick a camp bed in there and hope for the best. I also need a door going into the bathroom. Okay, I'm liking how this house is looking. So I need the carpets there yes okay what windows have i got at the front again i've forgotten they were those white ones if i go very similar looking there yeah big one coming out of the bedrooms yeah i like it i like it a lot and finally we got the roof so again it's kind of that sort of shape ah it's deleted my windows okay i'm gonna have to get some smaller windows i think actually no, they'll just about fit. I think this quick build for the Midlands is done. Thing is, I don't think my experiment has quite gone to plan as of yet because <laughs> this house looks nicer than the one up north. It's supposed to not look as good. It's supposed to look smaller for the same price. I don't think this has quite gone to plan. But either way, I'm going to show you what I've got. So this is the front of my wonderful house. And that is the house that I was going for. Not bad. This is my living room slash dining room area with the double arches going through. I think that is absolutely beautiful. I would love to own that. And that's what it looks like in the actual house. So I don't think I've done a bad job there. I mean, that obviously looks nicer and my house doesn't have a garden, but you know, maybe one day I can build gardens on these. Kitchen, pretty simple. You know, you got all of this stuff here. The counters, fridge, nice tiled flooring. That's the kitchen in the actual house. Again, nicer. <laughs> Maybe these houses are work in progress. I mean, well, I mean, the last one can't be. I bulldozed it. Maybe I'll keep this one. I do quite like how this one's gone. Master bedroom, pretty simple. Beds, you know, I've tried to make it look relatively nice and central. That's how it looks on the actual site. Again, pretty simple. Oh, I didn't put a wardrobe in. Forgot about that. The ensuite, I had some trouble with. Uh, because obviously I've got the bath, I've got a toilet, I couldn't fit the sink in. As you can see on this one, they've got the sink, toilet and bath shower combo. But it just doesn't quite fit in The Sims. Ah! The other bathroom, I just kind of managed to fit everything in. I mean, I don't know if it's in the same order. In fact, it's definitely not in the same order. Let me fix that real quick. Yes! That is what the back of my creation looks like. And that's what the back of the one on right move looks like. Again, I think I've done a pretty good job. Though the back of it is technically a conservatory and it's got the sort of conservatory style ceiling. This just has a normal roof because I have no idea how to do that in The Sims. I don't know if it's possible. The rest of it, like the other bedrooms, I just kind of had to guess. Uh, because it didn't show me pictures of them. But yeah, I, I quite like how this house has turned out. And that just about does it for the Midlands. If you're interested, this house is from Stafford. Okay, finally, we're going to look at the south of England. Of course, I'm going to look at London because that's the most expensive you can really get. So, so obviously, for a good example for this experiment, I'm going to use London. So let's have a look at London houses for sale. Just give me Zoopla, first of all. £250,000 houses. Fucking hell, I'm actually surprised it's giving me something. Oh, that is small. I'm actually surprised it's giving me something. It's They're giving me one-bed terrace houses. This is such a drastic change from the rest of the country. I've actually managed to get a three-bed semi-detached house, but... What's the catch? There's only one image. I don't trust it. Well, let's go for you pretty much typical, which is going to be... I mean, that's an end terrace, but still terrace. I mean, that is quite small. Oh, that is very small. But let's give this one a go in The Sims 4. Okay, I've saved the other one and I've started another new one. So let's uh, give this one a go. Oh, this floor plan is so small. I think this plot might be a bit too big for my London house. Got to get these measurements right. So let's go from the measurements from before. That's the foundation. <laughs> that's literally the foundation. It does have a shed as well, though, so... Let's just, yeah, I don't know why it's there. Okay, first thing I'm going to do, I think, is the stairs. I'm going to have to change this wall up a little bit. There you are, let me put the lights in so I can kind of see what I'm doing. The stairs are kind of like that, so let's just stick them there for a moment. Like that. And then like that, that's what I'm after. And it's not going to fit in this tiny little fucking London house. Because I'm on the wrong side, that's why. <laughs> 
Okay, I think I might have just about got it to fit. Yeah, just about. This one is so hard to do, honestly. Okay. I think the stairs come out quite a bit further than the rest of the house. So I'm going to have to kind of sort that out a little bit. You know, it doesn't really matter because it's a one bedroom house anyway. So I think that'll end up doing fine. Oh my God, I completely forgot to do the outside walls. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get the ceiling lamps in here. Okay, let's get that brickwork all the way around. And let's get the front door on. Can't intersect with other objects. Bollocks. It's because it's intersecting with the light. I need to get rid of the light. There you go. There you are. Let's move that over and then I can stick a window in. Nice little window. Right there. Give me another nice little window. Right there. There you go. I've got a nice sort of green carpet going on there. I don't know if I call that nice, but hey ho, that's kind of where that goes. I'm going to put that there. Okay, that's the best I can do with that because I can't put the sideboard under there technically, unless I put cheats on but, but I can't be asked to fuck about with the cheats. The kitchen is an issue because the, what they're actually supposed to do, the stairs aren't supposed to be that big. And then they should be able to walk around and then get in the kitchen through here. But I can't do that because the Sims doesn't like me to build houses this small. So I'm going to put the door there and hope for the best. This kitchen is not going to work. I can tell it's not going to work. There will be no fridge freezer in this kitchen. <laughs> do need an oven though. I'm going to have to get rid of one of these. Ah. There. Yes. And then... Give me the microwave. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, I'll take it back. The kitchen does work. Living room, they've gone for the nice plain white. Always like it plain white. Keeps it nice and simple. Kitchen wall, you've got the plain white tiles. I also need another chair here. Okay. I do also have a little dining room table that they've managed to fit in there. I've got to give it to you Londoners. You have always managed to fit so much in very little space <laughs> that's not gonna work put you right there there you go and then i can maybe move you across that i mean only one person's gonna be living it well maybe two can i yeah i could put that there okay so you can have two people living here bedroom we go for this nice simple bed there this person does have a desk it's not gonna fit can i fit oh i suppose i can do that actually they use it as like a makeup table so at least I don't have to put a computer on there. But I'm going to anyway. <laughs> put a nice mirror up there as well. They've gone nice plain white on the wallpaper as well. They've gone for the tiles in the bathroom. You saw the issues I had with the bathroom last time. I really don't think it's going to work. Ah, oh, insufficient funds. Two seconds. <laughs> it's a corner bath in here. It's not going to fit. Cheapest tub I can get. And a toilet. That'll have to do. Nice simple door going in. Give me a nice rug in the bedroom as well. I don't think I've done flooring. Nice simple carpet. That is like a wardrobe. So what I'm going to do is just put a chest of drawers in there. <laughs> and I just need some roofing. Also just realised that, that should not be like that. It's even smaller than I actually made it. Oh no. Can I move this? to there yeah okay this entire room oh no oh it's intersecting let's put you there for a second let me figure you out in a minute okay now this is not going to work i'm going to have to get rid of this entire bit imagine they didn't have a walk-in wardrobe I'll put that there. That works. Yeah. I had to delete an entire room to make it work, but hey-ho. Okay, that kind of works. I always hated how the Sims camera just moves on its own. Let's twizzle it round. Make it a little bit shorter. Oh, it's not that short, is it? Yeah, it's more like that. The windows, I'm going to kind of go like that. But then I need a smaller one on the other side. That's the one I was using earlier. So I'll put that there. We are getting there with this. We're slowly getting there. Okay, let's have a look and see how it compares. I'm going to ignore the shed entirely because 
can't be asked. So that is what the front of my London creation looks like. And that is what the front of that looks like. I mean, I got it pretty close, kind of. Now that's what the living room slash dining room slash kitchenette area looks like. That's what it looks like on the site. Now it, it is the wrong way round. So yeah, my stairs kind of go around that way when they should go up this way. Fuck it, you know, it kind of looks similar. In this house, the front door's over here somewhere so they can come round to get into the kitchen, whereas I haven't been able to do that, so I've had to just stick the door into the kitchen on the side. But I think it's got a nice aesthetic to it. Nice and simple kitchen going on, and it's incredibly similar to the one we got going here. Very small, very compact, a lot of stuff to try and fit into such a small space. I mean, that's the sort of living quarters they've got going on there. They've got two sofas and then a little dining room table there. So I've tried to mirror that with a little dining room table here. Upstairs, keeping it pretty simple. You've got the bed and you've got that dressing table there. So I've tried to mirror that in a way where you've got the bed here and a little desk. So on the floor plan, as I will show you now, on this, you do have a little cut off bit right there, which I believe is like a little wardrobe slash storage bit. I had to cut that out entirely because it just would not fit. So I just gave him a chest of drawers instead. The bathroom was incredibly difficult to fit the stuff in. Again, same as last house, I couldn't put a sink in. It just wouldn't fit. So as you can see here, you've got a bit of a corner bath going on with the sink and the toilet, but just wouldn't fit in on mine. And that is basically it. Oh, I did forget to put that bit of brickwork on. There you go. Obviously in the real house, they've got a bit of a side passage, side garden thing going on. It's not that big, but I'm not fucking about with gardens today. But I think we've learnt with London builds, uh, especially if you're going for a London house and not a flat, you're going to have some space issues. So I've attempted to build a house from the north of England, the Midlands and the south of England in London. Comparably, north of England and the Midlands kind of came out around the same. The Midlands might have actually been a little bit better. That was not supposed to happen. The northern one was supposed to be bigger and nicer. But it definitely depends what sort of areas you're looking in, I suppose. However, London performed abysmally. Everything I looked at, there was just no space to work with. So I just did the best I could with what I had. All of these were rush builds. I tried to build them as quickly as I could, so I didn't go into much detail. Let's try and build three houses for one video. What do you expect? So let me know in the comments below what house you prefer. Did you prefer the northern one, the Midlands one, or the London one? Thanks very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and hit that subscribe button as well. It would mean an awful lot to me if you did, make sure you hit that notification bell as well, and you'll be kept up to date about when I upload my latest videos. Also guys, why not follow me on Twitter and Instagram for the most up-to-date information on what's coming out on the channel. And remember guys, I do stream on Twitch. I try to keep my YouTube content and my Twitch content separate so they are both original, so I don't just take my Twitch streams and post VODs on YouTube. So for more original content, you should definitely go and follow me on Twitch, and you'll be notified when I next go live. Also guys, there's a link in the description, come and jump on the Discord server. I'm trying to build a bit of a community on there, come and chat to me. Come and chat to the people I've been working with. Come and talk to me about your ideas and the content. Come and have a say. I'm always after more great ideas. Thanks so much for watching, guys. My name is Ollie. I have no idea what I'm doing, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.